This next video is to show you some mods I've made to my M&P shield. I've got four in this video, one in a subsequent video. Very quickly I've done <clears throat> some stippling around the pistol, as you can see here. And on the trigger guard that into focus for you. I've also removed the material from under the beaver tail and beneath the back of the trigger guard. That improves my bore axis. <clears throat> I've also added this Packmire grip. You're all probably familiar with Packmire. I like the grip because on a small 9mm it reduces some of that snappiness um, and the higher bore axis gives me, I, I feel like I'm getting less muzzle flip which of course uh, would improve accuracy as well. Uh, I also plan to in the next video install this duty carry kit that I got from Apex which uh, will reduce the trigger from about seven to seven and a half pounds down to five, five and a half. Uh, you can get this on Amazon.com for one place, anyway. Uh, and that will, according to Apex, will smooth the uptake on the trigger, reduce over travel, and uh, reduce trigger reset. And I mentioned reducing the poundage from about seven, seven and a half, depending on your where you got your shield, uh, down to about five and a half, five pounds. Okay, but the crux of this video is about the DPM Systems recoil spring, which until now was not available on the market. So let's get right to it. I'm going to show you how to put the spring in, and then you'll see some video. Uh, of the results for uh, recoil, muzzle flip, and twist. Did it improve accuracy? I had two other shooters involved. I hope you enjoy this. DPM system springs are a well kept secret among competitive shooters. Uh, naturally, if you found something that gives you an advantage over your competition, you're not going to go up on the mountaintop and scream about it. Uh, I was a little skeptical uh, in, the, in the beginning. Uh, I put one in my Glock 42 and it improved it a little bit. Uh, and uh, so, I, so I keep it in there. Uh, so when I contacted DPM Systems <clears throat> and uh, inquired about the 9mm MP shield spring, they said they were working on one. And we agreed to work together on testing it, and they sent me uh, multiple springs, and you'll see in the paperwork uh, that we narrowed it down to two springs. DPM Systems claims that they have law enforcement officers who have put these springs in their pistols and have close to a million rounds through the pistol, having never changed the spring. Now typically, uh, depending on the pistol, uh, stock springs manufacturers will tell you you have to replace them anywhere from even as low as a thousand rounds to ten thousand rounds. Um, I know there's exceptions to that, uh, but if you can get uh, even if it's not a million, I mean most of us aren't going to run a million rounds through a gun, but we'd sure like the the spring to last uh, uh, a very long time, if not as long as we own the gun. So. Uh, uh, I don't know if that's true, I can't verify that, but uh, if it is, then the spring is worth that alone. It will come with two choices for springs, one's lighter than the other, and then there's a captive spring inside this assembly right here. So you'll just simply slide this over and insert it in the pistol. I'll show you about that in a second. Uh, we reviewed that extensively and uh, uh, put our report up on DPM Systems website. 
and uh, I'll also show it to you here in this video. Take your pistol down like you normally would. Remove the stock spring. Leave your barrel in. Choose one of the springs. One's going to be lighter than the other. I would suggest you uh, test both springs. And uh, if you can't tell the difference between them, you know, just pick one. But uh, this is how it goes in. Place the spring and push it back towards you. As such, it's as simple as that. I'll put the website up here and show you how to order the spring. Following that, you'll see some video of us shooting the pistol with the springs in it, the testing we were doing. We did uh, accuracy and reliability testing uh, and also a scientific measurement of recoil, muzzle flip, and twist. As a bonus, I can tell you that the uh, DPM Systems spring assembly for the XD, the Springfield XD 3 inch, also works with the Springfield uh, XD Mod 2 pistol. Uh, we ran about 300 rounds through it. For the MMP Shield, uh, you'll see the list of ammo that we ran is an extensive list of ammo we ran through the MP shield with all of these springs uh, flawless absolutely no failures whatsoever so I was quite impressed and my accuracy did improve but we had a one male and one female shooting pistol and uh, their accuracy improved as well I will show you how to order the spring from DPM Systems. Here's their website. Do not click on products. That may seem intuitive, but that is not how you do it. You go over to shop. Click on shop. Come down here, you'll see mechanical recoil reduction systems. Select that and you'll see all the springs available uh, and filter by manufacturer in this case we want Smith & Wesson and you'll see all the Smith & Wesson available systems right here the one you want for the M&P shield both 9mm and 40mm are here You wonder what I'm doing, I'm measuring the distance with a laser distance device. <clears throat> so I get a consistent 21 feet. Alright, that's single handed, but. Um, Got one off to the left. Yeah, that was the first one that I grouped them up here. And we're gonna put this grip on the gun. 
see if we uh, like it or not. It's by Packmeyer. Yeah. Do you want to shoot a? Uh, measure this. 